What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is my wife's broken phone. I'm gonna to try to fix it. I'm just gonna be doing a simple video how to replace the main board or the motherboard. And you get this on Amazon. This phone is the Samsung S10. So it was already cracked like this and then it got wet. So I believe the water seeped in and messed up the board. So I'm just making a simple video for anyone to follow if they wanna get their Samsung S10 working. It's just one board and the hard part is basically just opening up the unit. Like I said, I got the motherboard from Amazon. Make sure you read the description. Make sure it's not network locked or account locked and make sure you get the back cover. There's different colors you can choose from, but what is nice is that it does come with a pry tool. You can use a hot hair dryer. It might take longer than a hot air gun, but I suggest using hot air gun and the pry tools. So we're going to use a heat gun like this. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to put it on low. You want to do it around the border. That's where the adhesive is. You're going to loosen up the adhesive with the heat gun. Make sure you're about like, you know, about three to four inches away. Let's see if this works. The suction cups aren't really working because the phone's cracked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to stick a tool in there, the wedge open the back cover. Still not opening, so let's go ahead and heat it up a little bit more. We're going to use these other tools. I'm going to start with this metal tool. It's pretty thin. I'm going to start from the corner of the back cover and just slide it down. You don't want to push too far in because there can be cable connections. Now I'm using a guitar pick just to hold the back cover opened. There we go. Now it looks like I'm going to reheat it. I'm going to have a placeholder, preferably a metal tool so it doesn't melt. And I'm just going to reheat it so I can get the other sides. Now if you're replacing the motherboard or anything else inside this S10 phone, I highly recommend getting a back cover because usually when you remove the back cover, it will crack and break. And if it does crack and break, you just need more heat. That oh, was fun. All right. Now we got this out. I did order another one, which is nicer looking. So hopefully it lasts longer. And it comes with adhesive, which is good. So let's go ahead and toss this out. And we're going to put this on afterwards. And I also have a case so it doesn't break. And this is a repair that pretty much most people can do. I'm using a wow stick. It's great for small electronics like this. And it comes with all the bits you need to take apart most electronics, or most handheld electronics. Always take a picture.
And you want to use plastic tools because the battery is still plugged in. Go ahead and unplug the battery. So as you can see, there is damage right there. And then right there's a little bit of damage. You can see yeah, it does have a lot of water damage all over the, all over this board is covered in corrosion and water damage. We could try to fix it that way using electronic spray. Let's see. Probably won't fix it. Probably a lot of parts that are messed up. Let's go ahead and plug it back in and see if it turns on. One. So we're not getting any power whatsoever. Let's go ahead and unplug the battery. Once you remove all the screws from the motherboard, take the splunger, remove the screen ribbon cable connection, and then unplug the camera and then the motherboard should be able to slide right out. I forgot to unplug the headphone jack. Don't forget to do that. Oh, that's why. If the motherboard still refuses to slide right out, be sure to remove the SD card reader holder, which I forgot. So it should be easier now to slide right out. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now we gotta switch everything over. The sensors and the cameras and the headphone jack have to be swapped over, but it's really easy to do. Okay, these connectors look good, so we're gonna just plug them in. Put the bottom in first. Be sure to pull out all the ribbon cable connections before seating the motherboard in. And I'm using plastic tweezers instead of metal tweezers because the ribbon cable connections can be delicate and may rip. Double check the connectors, make sure they're clean. Connectors right here. Next, insert the forward facing camera. Put the two screws right there. Okay, and then now we can plug in the battery. Let's make sure the connector is clean though. It looks pretty good. <gasps> you 
does work. It just needs to be charged. The battery's dead. I'm going to cut off the adhesive. All right, so it's now 10%. Let's see if it turns on. So it's working. The problem is when, when swapping out these motherboards, sometimes they're blacklisted. You know, people hand in their broken phones for insurance reasons, and the board is blacklisted and can't be connected to a 4G or 5G service. So we're gonna check it out and make sure that's available. Now there is a way you could go to a website or look up videos on YouTube to unblacklist it. Let's reset it because I don't trust, you know, strangers. And we're gonna do a factory reset. And it has to be 10% battery to do a factory reset. We're gonna delete all. So yeah, it works. Makes a phone call and everything. We just tested it out. Once you take off the adhesive film from the back cover and the blue film from the clear window on the back cover, line up the corners and then run your finger along all edges of the back cover to make a perfect seal. Very nice. Look at that. Brand new phone. Shiny. Just remember, if you replace your motherboard and it's blacklisted and you can't activate it with your service provider, just contact the seller within 30 days and hopefully they'll give you an exchange motherboard and that motherboard won't be blacklisted. If you know anyone that has a broken Samsung phone and this video will help them out. Go ahead, click on the share button below and share this video to them. Help someone out. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more tech videos coming your way, subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.